Okay, so this is part two of installing Zabbix. And in this video, I will install Zabbix Agent. I will give it a domain name. I'm using an IP address and I'll give it SSL certificate. And I will also uh, fix up this problem lack of free swap space. That's actually in, in another video. I'll just give you a link to that. So we'll fix up this Zabbix agent on the Zabbix server. He's unreachable for five minutes. We'll fix up that problem first. And to show you what Zabbix agent actually does on Zabbix server is if we go to these graphs here and we look at these things here for Zabbix server, like CPU jumps, there's actually no data in there. CPU load, CPU utilization, CPU disk space usage. For example, so what we'll do is I'll install Zabbix agent now. So I'm on the server that I've installed. And so uh, apt get install and Zabbix agent. Righty, rightio, done. Okay, so I already had it installed actually. Anyway, let's, uh, I haven't started it anyway, so service Zabbix agent, agent start. Okay, so that's started now. So if we'll just go into, so we'll just go into the graphs here. And if we just wait a little while, I'll fast forward the video for a little while until I see some data. This alert should just go away. So I'll fast forward the video until it goes away. Well, okay, that uh, took like about five minutes actually. All right, so anyway, so if we go and look at these graphs now, okay, so now we can start seeing, now we've got some information and that's coming from Zabbix agent. Zabbix agent is looking at uh, collecting data for us. So if I was to look at uh, disk space usage, hasn't shown me anything there yet, but uh, CPU jumps, say for the last, uh, say we can see this is where I turned it back on and it started collecting data. CPU load, so it started collecting data, okay. Well, that's what Zabbix agent is doing on the Zabbix server. So this allows us to set triggers and um, monitor our server which is pretty cool. The next bit is the IP address. Now I've gone away and I've already registered a, um, I've got a domain name and so I've created a subdomain for it called zabbix2.seanwazee.com. So if I, I've already updated that in my DNS settings. So if I go there now, Sean was here. Sorry, so if I go zabbix, com. it takes me to this Zabbix2 server. So and there we go, I can actually log on. So if I just close that and I go admin Zabbix. Now that's because I already created the domain name a little while ago. So, and I pointed that domain name a record to that IP address that I had, that I was using. Now, this is still not HTTPS, so we well, you know, it says be careful, we you know all information being transmitted to and from my browser to the server is unencrypted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add SSL to it now. So to do that, clear, um, first thing we'll check is uh, this, we've got to check to see whether we have a server name configured for our server. So the Apache 2 CTL config test. It says, could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name. Okay, so I'm gonna do this right now. So how I'll do that is actually edit it in the Apache configuration. So sudo nano etc Apache 2 Apache 2 conf. And right at the top here, server name, I'm gonna call it Zabbix2. 
dot sean was here dot com right control x to save yes now let's run that config test again it says syntax okay so now we've done that we can now run certbot which is the uh you get that in pre-installed inside ubuntu 18 now from digitalocean so i don't have to install it so sudo certbot apache d zabbix 2shawnwazia.com sudo apache d zabbix 2shawnwazia.com let's press enter certbot I lied. apt get uh, install certbot. Excellent. Okay, let's try that again. sudo certbot patchy. Enter. Saving debug log. The request that it does not appear to be installed. Oh. So, in so I light again so apt get install python certbot apache okay it's done doing okay now let's try sudo certbot apache d zabbix2 sean was here saving dig enter the email address so while well, sean was here for now Agree. Yeah. No. It's up to you. Obtaining a new certificate for Zabbix2 Shawmazi.com. Enabled Apache rewrite module. Waiting for verification. Cleaning up challenges. And there we go. Created an SSL V host at enabled Apache SSL module. Deploying cert. Please choose whether or not to redirect to HTTP. I'm going to say yes, redirect. Excellent. And that is, you should test your configuration at SSL Labs. You can do that in your own time. If you want, let's go and visit that URL now. So I'll just, just, just double check the redirect. Zabbix, zabbix 2shawmazoo.com. Okay, so it's redirected automatically to the SSL certificate to use the SSL certificate. Now if I type in uh, Zabbix, there we go, admin, let's just uh, zoom in slightly there, admin, Zabbix is the default. There we go. Let's have a look at the graphs. Well, very good, there we go. Zabbix so server now has an SSL certificate and a domain name. Now I'm going to fix the uh, lack of free swap space using my other video and then I'm going to come back and just show you that error is gone. Yeah, so I'm going to basically gonna use this this video I created a few years ago for Ubuntu 16, but it's going to be the same, same steps. So I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so we can see that took me about five minutes to set the swap file up and we can see there's no problem there now the swap file is working and Zabbix is no longer reporting an issue so the error is gone now so uh thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe and share